So the feedback from students and teachers that use our programs has been very positive and we want to continue to raise the civic IQ. The Capital Classroom experience was amazing. It really inspired uh, our class and inspired me. What I love about it is that they get to choose a bill that's actually going through the legislature that they are passionate about. This is just a great way for students to see how big of an impact they can make on state government. Ever since I was little, I've always been into politics. And I've always known I had a voice, but the fact that it could be heard was what really made me happy. Capital Classroom has been really fun and, um, and important to me, yeah. When we surveyed students after participating in our programs, we find that uh, over 90% of them have a much better understanding of how state government works. To just interact with a lobbyist and interact with the person who, who works in real world situations, uh, was definitely an eye-opening experience. You gain so much knowledge about not only your own state and your own state government, but also government in general. I mean, I didn't even know we had state senators and representatives. I thought senators and representatives were people who worked in Washington, D.C. for Congress, but it was kind of cool. It's like a Washington government. It's kind of like a mini U.S. government. Uh, approximately 80% are more inclined to participate themselves. It really motivated me to be a, a positive member in my community, especially um, when our lobbyists encouraged us to uh, learn about both sides of an argument. I like the fact that we meet 16, 17, and 18 year olds that actually want to make a difference in the world. It's tough to do these, t these days. There's a lot of disappointment in government from the local to the federal levels. Finding kids that might major in political science or in government or in communications to come back and replace me makes me smile and over 90% are much more inclined to follow issues in their legislative district. I learned that issues that we are following, especially their issues, they have pros and cons on both sides and they need bipartisan support to be passed. It really puts a, the, the, the topics that we talk about in class into their life. And so now they understand this is why I have an important role within our society. So this is something that they can take with them the rest of their lives. So for the future of Teach with TVW, we're going to build on our successful programs and expand them. In 2016, we created a new program called Campaign Classroom. It's similar in structure to Capital Classroom, but this was a program that focused on elections. Welcome, we are uh, just days away from the end of voting and then the balloting, the counting will begin. You know, if they couldn't vote in the actual election, then they're encouraged to vote in the statewide mock election. Well, and even though I'm, I can't vote yet, it's, a, it's really educational, um, building me up to the point when I'm allowed to vote, really being an educated voter, knowing a lot about my government um, and how my government works. The mock election did have near record uh, turnout in 2016. And we really wanna uh, increase that participation and have students go through the electoral process and really know how to vote, know how to do the research, know how to look at the candidates, so when they go to the ballot, they can make an informed decision. My students, you know, they're 13, 14 years old, and in the next, you know, presidential election or in the next election for um, governor, like, they're going to be able to vote, and they need to know the reasons why they're voting for the people who they're voting for, and not just you know, oh, I'm a Democrat or oh, I'm a Republican, therefore I'm gonna circle these boxes. We also intend to expand our capital classroom program by giving uh, classes the flexibility to be able to do the program outside of the legislative session. Um, I think this program should be more available to more students across the state. I mean, I realize that it might be a little bit more difficult, but it's really a wonderful opportunity to learn more about the government and like our government, especially Washington State. I think um, the main reason that people should support this Capital Classroom program is because of how it brings in young people and makes them care more about government. Because children grow up and then they're the people that start to vote. They're the people who determine who our leaders are and become leaders themselves one day. I mean, I would tell anybody that this is an incredible program to support because it allows students to really feel that they have a voice in our society in a way that people often say that students 
don't have this voice, but really I know that once you give them the opportunity to he have their voices be heard and be in a real life situation, that they feel empowered by that. And as they're growing up to be you know, adult citizens of our um, country, that they need to be educated and empowered in their education to make a positive difference in the world. And I think programs like this allow them to feel that power and to feel that empowerment in an educated way so they can really go out and make a positive difference. These students are gonna grow up. These students are going to be our next generation of teachers, lawyers, professionals, business executives, legislators, members of Congress, creating that foundation for them to respect the Constitution, to respect all of this beauty, all of this place that does these wonderful things that we call laws and policies. We have to start somewhere, and this is a great first step.